I couldn't sleep because of what Evan told me yesterday. How am I supposed to see him now? Ansel. What's up? Come home early today to practice. I'm sorry, Nana. Today I have to organize a project with Evan. Well, tell him to come too. I don't think it's a good idea. My dad will be home today, and I don't want problems if they run into each other. You know what he thinks about my preferences with guys? I am sure he will think Evan and I are a bad idea. Anzul, you know that if anyone dares to mess with you, they'll have to deal with me, even if it's your father. Thank you, Nena, but for the moment, I think it's easier to just practice with Evan. You know this would be faster if you two practice with me. Speaking of, I know it may sound silly, but is there a guidebook to learn better by any chance? A book? Of course. What? Really? And why didn't you tell me? Why would you need an old book? Everything you need to know is here in my head. You just need to ask. You get it when you turn 15, when they put your magic to the test. A test? But since your magic came until 17 years old, I don't think it applies to you. Also, you're a boy. Who put your magic to the test? An old witch who created the committee. When witches turned 15, they sent them a letter as a warning. A warning in a golden envelope with your name? That's right. How do you know that? <laughs> Anzel, did you get a letter from the committee and didn't tell me? Yeah, probably. <coughs> what? What's this? How long? Not sure. It was before the game on Saturday, so for three days, I guess? <laughs> Is it bad? Didn't you open it? Um, no. Why? Where is it? The committee is extremely serious with punctuality. You are in trouble. Calm down. I put it in here. Besides, how would I know there was a committee? Uh, it was here. How did you think not to tell me? I didn't know it had to do with magic. It came from the sky. It didn't seem strange to me. It's a golden paper with your name engraved. Did you really think it was something normal? Hmm? I found it! Ansel, wait. What? what Oh no. Nana, what's happening? A bad start day. It's a magic card with your name engraved in gold. You just don't open it without asking before. S sorry Anyways, where uh Whoa! Huh. Am I dreaming? Name. Huh? What's your name? M my name? Uh, Ansel Baker. Don't leave the circle. Uh. There. Oh. Hmm. Ansel Baker, you arrive three days late to your committee summons. Because of your delay, you will receive a penalty. Hmm? Penalty, you said? <laughs> hmm. Are you Ansel Baker? Yes, ma'am. Is that bad? Can I answer again? It's Baker, with a K. Or CK. Can you spell it? Uh, Your Honor, could you attend to this case? Silence. I'm busy right now. Hmm. What the what heck? What the heck? Hmm. What is so important? Huh? 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 Uh, 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 I won't do it. Come on, dude. Um, why would I want to do someone else's homework? I'll pay you. I don't want your money. Great, then you'll do it for free. Come on, there's still time before class. Evan? Uh... Evan! Mm. What's going on? He was able to leave the trance on his own. He must have invoked a familiar already. Then why isn't it with him? Hmm. What? Who are you? My name is hmm? Professor Niedermeyer. 
Hmm. Huh? Look at my artwork. <laughs> Don't ignore me, douchebag! I can see how you ignore me. Okay, you asked for it. What are you doing? I'll fill your phone with d pics. Stop! Will you stop ignoring me? What do you want? Are you okay? You look worried. The nurse said you were fine. Why are you in a bad mood today? You're fine. That's good. I know. Also, thanks to your fainting, I was able to skip class and do my homework tomorrow. I'm glad you got something out of me fainting. I'm sorry, I promise to do my homework tomorrow. Stop with that! Still haven't told me what's up with you today. Nothing. Do you think I didn't notice how quickly you picked up your phone as soon as you got a notification? He isn't answering any of my messages. Who? Your fake boyfriend? Didn't you see him in your last class? He didn't come. Have you tried calling him? He doesn't answer. I think he's avoiding me. Why would he do that? I told him what happened at the party. You told him you make out? And what did he say? That we're cool. He didn't get angry because you took advantage of him? I didn't tuck... It wasn't like that. But he didn't get angry. It wasn't like that either. So? How was it? He had thought it had happened with Ali's cousin. What? Why? Because Ali's cousin kissed him at the party. What? So... Does that bother you? I think I made him uncomfortable. Did it bother you that he thought he was with Aaron? I think he was disappointed to know it was me and not Ali's cousin. And that bothered you? Stop that. Dude, you're not answering. It didn't bother me, it's just... I thought we were fine. But now... I don't know. Maybe he lost his phone. Yeah, maybe. Uh, Ansel, I didn't ask your name. Somebody explain to me how a boy came in here. He received a sabuna, your honor. He can do magic, your honor. How could this happen? I told you it was a bad idea to automate the sending of letters. Silence! I need to think. Why does this have to happen during my period? Now that there are fewer and fewer generations of magic. What are we supposed to do in these cases? This is a very rare case. I propose that he stay with us for an observation. We are losing many generations of magic. I think we shouldn't interfere. We haven't seen this before. We don't know what consequences this boy can bring. Consequences? He'll bring the same consequences as the rest of the girls. We can't guarantee that. This is the first time. It's the same magic chain. Only now it's in a different body. We don't know that. How different can it be? Well, it had had different repercussions. His magic reached 17 years, two years later than normal, and has level below the basics. You see, he is different. Him being different doesn't mean it's bad. He is defective! He isn't defective. It's a different way of channeling his magic. We couldn't wait for the magic gene to make no change after so many years. This is a deficient anomaly in the gene. Hmm? In mortals, it is common for the female body to mature before the male. If we take this lightly, we risk that the future gene has increasing shortcomings. Alter years of rules just by existing. What a penetrating look! We can save us the trouble of finding out and just eliminate him right now. Uh, this girl goes straight to the point. She makes me nervous. Yeah. But she's right. Yeah. What? We can't eliminate him, it's against the rules, if he has not committed any crime. The rules say nothing about the boys, we can't rely on them. But it does... about morals. Excuse me. If he can do magic, he's no longer mortal. When the magic gene appears, it floods us completely, and we stop being simple humans. Huh? Apparently, this didn't happen with him. He is half mortal. How can that be possible? 
Well, we can mess with half of him. You don't get it. Deadly is mortal. We can't break the rules. Rules should be updated for situations like these. Maybe after he changes completely. Excuse me, Honor. Huh? Huh? What? what? I forgot about her. Where did she come from? Neither my deceased daughter nor the three sisters of this boy inherited the magic gene. I know it's a boy, and having the gene makes it different. But he's still my grandson, and I love him for that. I would love to be able to transmit this knowledge for so many years, and know that I was able to share this side of myself for the first time with someone close to me in my life. Hmm. Only you can know how lonely this kind of life can be. Three sisters. And he is the only one who receives the gene. I know. Similarly, not being specified in the rules doesn't mean that it is forbidden for a boy to have magic. Silence! Hmm. I made my decision. We'll follow the rules according to the protocol and he'll be put to the test like all. With the condition that you'll be assigned to someone to watch that everything follows the correct course. The penalty is maintained according to the rules and will be chosen at random. Now, get out of here before I change my mind. I have a lot of work to do. Needless to say, what? this boy is 100% under your responsibility. Of course, Your Honor. Thank you so much. Someone give me the family tree of this boy and his grandmother as soon as possible. Somehow, she managed to pose unnoticed by five committee members. Yes, Your Honor. Oh well, that turned out better than I expected. This sweet old lady always works. What's up? It was a lot of information for a single day. Really? It seems that it wasn't enough. Spit it out. What is that about that I'm half mortal? Don't look at me like that. I didn't know either. What about you? I'm the same as the rest of the witches. You... can you die? Of course, we can all die. So what do they refer to the thing of mortals? They refer to humans, honey. We witches aren't like humans. But that doesn't mean we are immortal. Don't worry, you won't become anything weird. Huh? Anything weird? A few days ago, I thought I was weird because I couldn't hold a conversation without trembling. Now, I'm talking to my great-grandmother, who isn't human and is believed to be dead? Nothing is normal anymore. Don't tell me I won't become anything normal. I am, since I met the real you. Okay, okay, I hurt your confidence. You have doubts? Ask what you want right now. How old are you? Okay, this is getting aggressive. Now you are attacking me. What? Can't you answer me that? Then you won't tell me either why you never mentioned to me that there was a witch committee, neither tests nor penalties? I was terrified up there, listening to how they were debating to get rid of me. And you never told me anything of that. I thought... What? Hey, hey, calm down. I would never let them hurt you. I'm sorry I didn't tell you about that. I really didn't think you had to go through this too. Normally, after acquiring your magic, everything comes so naturally. You don't need explanations of who you are. You already know that. But not for me. It's true. You're kind of different. But that's why I'm here, as I have always been. Now let's take advantage of the fact that there is nobody at home to show you what you can do. Okay. Still no news from Ansel? No. I'm beginning to wonder if something could have happened to him. Wow, you look serious about it. What? Um, what do you mean? He missed a day at school and you're paranoid. Huh. Calm down. Sure he got a cold by throwing himself in the pool on Saturday. You can take him chicken soup if you're worried. Of course not! What am I doing here? Hmm... Good evening, I'm Ansel's classmate, is he feeling better? Ansel didn't go to school? Is he sick? Uh -huh. Come in, I'll call him. Thank you. Ansel, come down here! 
I'm coming! Huh? What's the matter? God, you look terrible. Thank you, Dad. Someone came looking for you. I brought you your homework assignments. Evan? Sh sure Come here! <laughs> you don't have to clean just because I'm here. Oh no, of course not! I'm just making some space! You just threw your phone in the trash? What?! Anyways, thanks for bringing me my homework. Hmm... Why would I bring you homework? Uh, when I can just text you. Then, what are you doing here? And how did you find my address? I just asked Allison. Why does Allison know my... I brought you soup. Hmm? Do you feel better? Hmm? Thanks for the soup, but I'm not sick. You're not? No. Uh, how can I tell if you have a fever when you're always blushing? That's not totally true. But then why do you look so tired? That's because my nana put me to practice all morning. Is that why you missed classes? Yes, about that, something happened. I told you there was a book. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I get it. More witches, tests, and you are half human? That's right. And what about the penalty? I won't know until they assign it to me. Then be careful. Yeah. And if you need help, let me know. I'll help you if I can. Thank you. I can't believe he brought me chicken soup. <laughs>